Hey everybody, Logan here. There's just so much news going on today. Here's a little more sad but lighthearted uh, topic, and this comes from Nintendo Life. For those of you guys you know, or who have watched the channel for quite some time, you know I'm into TCGs, and I have played Pokemon for quite some time. So this was kind of sad. But before we get into the topic, you can see what it is. I really appreciate if you guys hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers before June or by June of this year, and it would really help. So if you hit that subscribe button, thank you guys so much. Let's get into the topic at hand. So the Pokemon Company reveals plans to sunset Pokemon TCG Online, making way for Pokemon TCG Live. So I used to play this quite a bit on my Galaxy Tab, which ended up dying. Um, and then if you have a, uh, a note, a galaxy note, which I had Samsung galaxy note and a galaxy ultra, the screen resolution is large enough. So it mimics that of something with a larger resolution display, like a tablet, you could play it on there. Most phones you can't play it on. And what I'm expecting is that Pokemon TCG live will be able to be played on uh, a lot of phones. So some of the older phones can't play it depends on the resolution and there's so much that uh went into not being able to play uh, T uh pokemon tcg online and for those of you who've never played but collect the cards that's what that little code is in the back and uh it it was it was kind of fun i enjoyed it quite a bit but my current phone is a little well can't play it because uh the resolution is uh, a little too low it's only a standard s21 and it's kind of sad, but with that being said, seeing it come to an end to be replaced with a new one is promising. The only thing I'm worried about is my cards, but let me shut up. Let's read and then we'll discuss. Pokemon Company has announced that it will be removing the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online app from the App Store, Google Play, uh, and the browser version of Pokemon website sometime this year prior to the official launch the Pokemon trading card game live. So the company made a statement today on the official Pokemon support website. Live is currently available to beta testers worldwide after a limited beta launch last summer and a few delays and we're expecting to see it sometime this year. And in turn, it looks like the Pokemon company will be winding down support, uh, will be winding down operations on the current app. While no official date for the app's removal has been revealed, the Pokemon Company states that additional information, including exact timing, will be shared soon via the Pokemon support website. Let me know if you guys have been playing this on your phone, if your phone can support it. That, that was the thing that bothered me when I would switch phones or change depending on, you know, the year. And then I'm like, oh, wait, I can't download it. Oh, it won't run. Oh, this one will run on. So, uh, it made me go, eh. However, prior to this, from March 1st, uh, 2023, no new TCG products, including cards and, de uh, cards and deck accessories, will be added to the game. The last new sets to be added to the game, which drop on uh, February 16th, will be the, the Crown Zenith Special Collection, Pikachu VMAX, the Lucario V-Star Special Collection, and the Cleaver V Star Special Collection. Now, this makes sense because with the following set, where we get the everything's get based around Scarlet and Violet, they're changing the borders of the cards from yellow to silver. And you're like, oh, okay. In Japan, they're all silver. Here, they've been yellow since day one. So what they're doing is making a more uniform look uh, to the cards. Which I think is I think is fine because more companies need to take a uniform look to all their cards instead of putting out seven hundred different variants of each card. Wizards of the Coast Magic Gathering, just saying. It's cool when you get some variants and stuff like that, but when every card has like seven different variants, it's it's ridiculous. Yeah, I know it's not every card, but it's it's a lot of them. It's ridiculous. Huh. And the facts the Pokemon Company has shared why it's making TCG Live and why it has decided to sunset the current app. Why did you decide to sunset Pokemon TCG Online and develop Pokemon TCG Live? 
We're always working to innovate the Pokemon TCG and provide the best possible experience for fans who want more ways to play outside of the tabletop version of the game. As the Pokemon TCG Online launched over 10 years ago, Pokemon TCG Live not only provides an opportunity to update the game and underlying technology, but also uh, to engage more fans by offering an easily accessible online game on smartphones, tablets, PCs, and macOS devices. Pokemon TCG Live also comes with a suite of improvements, including a new card logic engine that provides more player feedback around gameplay events, as well as a ranked ladder, battle pass, duplicate card protection with credits, 3D avatar, update, visual effects, and more fluid gameplay. Okay, that kind of sounds good because if you get multiple of the same card and you're paying for packs and you get the same cards over and over and over that's that's kind of a yeah it's kind of annoying so it's a little frustrating i do like that battle pass goes eh but it's an app-based free-to-play game unless you're buying cards and hopefully they'll keep the uh codes why are you sunsetting the pokemon tcg online before the official launch of launch of pokemon tcg live Pokemon TCG Online will be sunsetted prior to the official launch of Pokemon TCG Live so that the saved content and players' Pokemon TCG Online accounts can be migrated to Pokemon TCG Live. Boom! There we go. That's great. Helping to ensure a more seamless transition for players. This also provides a more optimal experience by merging all fans into one online game. That's great. Offering a greater pool of people to digitally play the Pokemon TCG. So that, that's good to hear. That is good to hear. That is very good to hear. And I think this is one of the things that I'll go back to this one, where it says on smartphones, tablets, PCs, and Mac OS devices, because like I said, it wasn't universal. There were many phones that couldn't play it. And it, it got a little frustrating so that I couldn't play it on specific phones because uh, the screen size resolution and stuff like that, it was really weird, but you had to have a large enough phone that it was almost the size of a tablet, hence the Note or, or the uh, the new Ultra phones. I don't even think because I tried to download it on my when I had that uh, iPhone 13 Pro and it didn't work. I haven't tried it on a uh, the Pro Max or whatever they call Pro Plus or Pro Ma Pro Max Pro Max Max Pro. Sorry, I'm not a not. An Apple guy, but hey, there you go. Let's see what the last one says. Let's let's just finish off here. Luckily, you'll be able to migrate your account from TCG Online to TCG Live as both services use the same trainer club account. Good. Cards and accessories are able to be transferred over, but there is a list of things that you won't be able to shift to live over on the support page. Oh, okay, there you go. And the rest, uh, you can keep up with them here because I, will I probably follow up on this? No, I just thought this was a good... Uh, little article for those of you who do enjoy Pokemon TCG Online because it technically is a video game. It's the video game version of the card game, and I played it. Uh, when I had it on my phone, when my phone could support it, I was playing it quite a bit. I would play that, and I would play Elder Scrolls Legends. I actually play that more than Magic the Gathering Arena. If you guys have ever played Magic Arena, it's it's got issues. <laughs> But here we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Hopefully you like this. Hopefully you found this uh, uh, entertaining or at least informative. Again, hit that subscribe button because we are trying to reach that 10,000 by June of this year. Thank you guys so much. I'll shut up now. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again. Subscribe. <laughs> okay. <laughs>